Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I am with the lovely Carrie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Who you may remember from Carrie Rad, where she makes rad things. Well, and today, um, one of my favorite games to play with girlfriends is this game called Loaded Questions. Uh, we both wrote down some questions, mm -hmm. sort of of the goofy fun variety, because I don't know, I feel like on YouTube, everyone does sort of the get to know me QA, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Where it's like, here's where I was born, here's who I am, blah, 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 but you don't get to know the weird stuff about us. Yeah, this one's cool because you get to ask your friend a random question, you both answer it, and mm -hmm. yeah. You kind of and I like that bit. it's random. Yeah, it's, it's like random weird things. Totally. So you kind of like learn like, wait, what? Yeah. That surprises me about you. I'm excited. It's really fun. So we wrote down some fun, goofy questions and we each did five. So this is 10 questions with Carrie and Claire. Yeah, yeah. Good times. All right, you want to start it off? Sure. All right. So question number one is if you could switch bodies with someone, who would it be? And, and I put in parentheses for a day. Because for a I day. Feel like Long term, you may choose oh, something true. different. So this one's just for a day. So I guess the question is like, do you want to be vain about it or do you want to like live that person's life? Yeah, I mean. Like, cause if it's like a Freaky Friday thing where- okay, Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Like, okay, if I could live someone's life, let's see, who's like living just an awesome sounding life? Like Gigi Hadid. I would love to be like BFFs with Taylor Swift and just be like, yeah. I don't know, in the Hamptons. It's really funny that you say that cause I would pick Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> so that's perfect. I was like, that's the first person I thought of. I'm like, Taylor Swift. I'm like, I want to be 19 and a model. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, basically what I want to be. Question two. Ah, desert island scenario. What's your one non-essential luxury item? So you can't be like a really fancy knife because obviously it's you can use yeah. that. It has to be completely useless. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, I would probably do coffee. <laughs> like, let's be real. Good. I, like I do that. not need I coffee like on an island, but I need coffee. So <laughs> Kindle. Okay. Like loaded with books. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. My my uh, coffee would. I think I I'm gonna get specific with it and say I, I would do a mocha. I like that. I would do an iced mocha every morning. We'd have a good if I had a Kindle and you had coffee. We'd be be, chill. be great yeah. on a desert island because yeah. we could trade off. Exactly. Good. Yep, I like it's it. Good. This next question is, if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Potatoes. That was, that was quick. Obviously. And like a, just potatoes, like well, mashed potatoes, baked do you, potatoes. Do we need to be more specific? Because here's the thing, is that like <laughs> Any potatoes. french fries yeah. are life. Um, mm -hmm. But, because first of all, like, I've never had like bad, the only bad french fry is a cold french fry. Right, like I've never, There's. it's kind of yeah. hard to. Sometimes mm. french fries cold could be good too. That, see, like yeah, you see even then, <laughs> it's like not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so, but excellent french fries are just like mm -hmm. the best thing in the world. Um, but then I love mashed potatoes and I love baked potatoes yeah. and I love gnocchi and yeah. you just can do so much with potatoes. And if mm -hmm. I was stuck with like one thing, I probably would do potatoes. Yeah, mashed potatoes is up there for me. I would mm. do mashed potatoes or just like a really, really good pizza. And I know that that's Ooh. pretty like basic, but I, I I crave pizza all the time. Or bean and cheese burrito. I love bean and cheese burrito. That is, or grilled cheese sandwich. That is I can't simple. Pick. I just love that for all, it's all carbohydrates though. Yeah. Like there's no question that it's obviously carbohydrates. Yeah. So like it's definitely. 100%. It's definitely that. Ooh, this is a good question. What's your spirit animal? Ooh, um, yeah, I wrote that one down and I didn't even think about this. <laughs> um, I think my spirit animal would be a dog. Mm -hmm. What kind of dog? I'd be really A golden doodle. Just like Ooh. a little like. But or... it's like smarter though because Goldens aren't known for being the wisest of dogs, but poodles yeah. are crazy smart. Yeah. So it's like the fun-loving attitude of a lab of a retriever, but yeah. the smarts of a poodle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm just like cuddly that. and laid back and just wants to cuddle. And... See, to me, you like look like more of like a spaniel, <laughs> like Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> You know, like a little, like all, especially with like the summertime reddish hair. Yeah. It's like all like, like, like a little, a little like a bit. full colored cavalier. I forget what they're called when they're all filled in. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I feel like that. Be. Oh, that's a hard question. I feel like if I had to pick a spirit you, animal for you, I feel like here. you would be a cat. <laughs> I do. I'm not cool enough to be a cat. I'd be like Garfield, where it, like I hate Mondays and love. Oh, you are so cool but... enough to be a cat. I feel I like you know. would like you would definitely be a cat. It 
If you had a nail polish color, what would the name be? If you had a nail polish color, what would the name be? That's my favorite thing about nail polish. Yes, it's the, the names. ridiculous names. And they're always terrible puns. Hmm. I would do, this is the first thing that comes to mind and I don't even know why, it's not even a pun. Yeah. It's like, I would do like a, like a, a pinky red mm -hmm. and I would call it like, maybe like, sweet cherry pie. <laughs> I don't know why. No, that, but that's like very much in it's a like nail a, polish. It's like a sweet red. Yeah, but that's very know. much in a nail polish vein. Yeah. It would be like, but I don't it, know. it'd be like, she's my cherry pie. Oh, uh, that's like a good one. Song. Yes. Yeah. She's my cherry pie. I probably would do, I actually love this kind of color where it's like a taupey grayish kind of vibe. Yeah. So maybe I would do that and like call, I don't know, maybe like Aussie Heritage it up and be like Koala Kiss or something. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> God. This is why I don't have a so job sweet naming. Sweet cherry pie. You know, I'm, I was saying, I'm taking pie. it back. Hold on. Or I'm taking it back. <laughs> I have to come up with something else because it's awful. Make me blush. You're, good lord, you're really good at this. <laughs> And another one. <laughs> what skill did you wish you could surprise people with? What surprise did you, did you wish you could? Yeah, as I have this fantasy of like, you know when you roll up to a party and all mm -hmm. of a sudden you're like amazing at something that no one knew you were amazing at? Like yeah. that fantasy. I, uh -huh. I'm not good at anything Gosh. like that though. Like nothing performative is a skill set for me. So I've, I've always had that fantasy but never able to actually live it. So. I mean, honestly, for me, if I could do anything in the world, I would love to be able to sing oh, or yeah. speak another language really mm -hmm. well and then have someone gossip about me in that language <gasps> and then turn to them and be like, oh, and talk to them really in that, in that language. Yeah. yeah, that just, oh, that'd be such a fun um, that'd be Mine would be to be able to remember any date and like what happened on that date. I think this wow. is probably because I have a really bad memory. Mm -hmm. And so I think that um, I would just absolutely love being able to, like someone says a date and me being like, oh yeah, well on that date, da, 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 and that was a Tuesday of, you know, people have that. <laughs> no, I know. And it's like, that reminds me. Yeah, like that happened. Yeah, on could, a... you, could you imagine? That'd be amazing. Just in conversation, somebody brings up a date and you're like, yeah, on uh, July 3rd, 1975, that uh, that was an interesting day. Oh, it was interesting. It was, it was very sunny here in California yeah, that, that day. That was the season premiere of MASH. Yeah. Maybe, like, that kind of thing where you're like, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, this is funny. Okay, describe your worst first kiss. I don't know if this was my worst, but my one of my first kisses that I remember was with somebody that I didn't really want to kiss. Mm -hmm. And so that's probably why it's my worst my, my worst kiss. Was it like closed mouth and squidgy? It was like, it was just the person <laughs> that was in, it, because this is what happened. He, we were playing basketball out front of our friend's house and he was like, if I make this shot, you have to give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Okay, like he was my friend, we were just yeah. joking around, and I did not want to kiss him, but he made that shot, so we had to kiss, and it was not fun. No. Mine, <laughs> mine was um, the guy tried to make something happen between my lip and my teeth, and I literally have never shoved someone off of my person quicker. <laughs> it's gross. That's amazing. I just like just ugh. Ugh. Should we just <laughs> practice on our hands? <laughs> Hold on. Like, yeah. Nice and sweet. Like that. Just start sweet and then let normal things push it forward. <laughs> Don't try to push it forward. That's when I feel like it gets awful. It's like when yeah. guys like think that like, I'm gonna go big and you're just like, why is he attacking what? my face? It's not you fun. duck. Yeah, you're like, oh like you're like a brother to me. Yeah. <laughs> just like back away. Oh, who would you flip for? Oh. Yes. So if I were to partner with a lady, <laughs> who would I go for? It's like a hard question because there's so many interesting, beautiful, sexy women out mm -hmm. there. Like there's a lot. It kind of depends on what your vibe is. I would go with like, I'd go with like early 50s Lauren Bacall. No, she's she's not a lesbian, but she, <laughs> she well, was a lot, she passed, but she just, there's something about her. She had this like amazing deep voice. Yeah, and the way she'd like smoke a cigarette and she just is like the classic femme yeah. fatale from all noir films and I just, for me, I'm just like, oh, she's so beautiful. I just would like to look at her face. Just like stare at her face. Just like day. cup her face like that. Like, that would make me very happy. <laughs> Mine, I have two. Mine would be, 
I think mine pretty just like basic on like physical. Yeah. It would be Selena Gomez. I know that's ridiculous. Selena Gomez now, not when she was like well, like a baby. A baby. Yeah. But like right now, she's like I she's, think she's like so womanly. Gorgeous. She's I think it's curves. because I just saw her new video, oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for You, and mm. I was like, girl, she's looking good. And then or Cara De, Cara De La Vie. Oh, she'd be amazing. Yeah, well, because she's, she's she seems funny so and like confident. She. She would be based off personality, obviously she's yeah. gorgeous, but to spend time with her because she just seems goofy, but mm -hmm. like cool at the same time. If you could live in any other city, where would it be? Um, honestly, this is so cheesy sounding, but probably, okay, it's a tie between Paris and Mexico City. Okay. So my two favorite cities in the world. Paris is because it's like, I mean, it's Paris. Like, yeah. Fantastic. Mexico City though has some of the best food I've ever eaten, some of the most beautiful architecture. The people are very sweet and kind. And I love it has a very vibrant um, production art and architecture scene. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Plus I if I can kind of speak a language, it's like a smattering of Spanish and I'm really I yeah. absolutely love Mexican culture just growing up in Southern mm -hmm. California. You kinda can't not be you know, open to it and, yeah. you know, engage it. So I don't know, one of those two probably. What about nice. you? I, right now, I feel like I would have said something different probably like last year, but mm -hmm. I just recently went to New York and I loved it. I fell in love with um, Manhattan, Brooklyn area. Mm -hmm. And I never really had an earning for New York mm -hmm. before, um, but just recently when I went there, I was like, I love this place. But what part of the city? Cause that's, if that makes like if you're a Soho girl versus a Lower East Side girl versus I love an Upper East Side. Oh, so Brooklyn. Yeah. 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 It just kind of has this like cool, mm -hmm. um, hipster vibe yeah. to it. That's probably like why I love Silver Lake. Sweet. If you could travel, where would you go? In time. If you could time travel, where would you go? <laughs> I guess, when would you go? When would you go? It I, says said, I said where, but I, <laughs> I think it should say when. Okay. Um, if I could time travel, this is this is a definite Claire question yeah, because yeah, Claire's yeah. like a history book. I have like five answers for I this. I feel like when you're talking to Claire, you're just opening up a history book. <laughs> um, if I could, mine's gonna be probably a little bit more of a basic answer than yours, but I would go, the 60s, mm -hmm. so I could go to a Beatles concert just to experience that. And I just like like the hippie culture. And, yeah, like, I would love to be part. Or I would like, be the like liner. the girl with just like flowers in her hair and like no makeup, but just like you know has like a baby on her hip and is Ooh, like yeah, you're definitely a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> the one that like the, I'd be with the girl, everybody that was putting the the flowers in the guns. in the gun, yeah, the whole thing. So you'd be in San Francisco. Yeah, that'd be fun. That would be awesome. That'd be cool. Um, oh my god, like I just. I could time, like time traveling would just be the best. Um, I guess for me, if I had to, okay, so if it was a thing where it wasn't like Outlander where I got stuck in a time. Okay. Cause that's different. If I was like a time tourist, I could okay. kind of just like hang out, see what's up and then leave <laughs> before I get tuberculosis. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, I would love to try like 1890s Vienna. Cause the entire thing, I mean, back then it just, all, it's like hot cocoa, biscuits, women in those beautiful like S-line corsets, and it basically looked like a dollhouse. Like mm -hmm. It's just one of the most stunning cities in, in the world, and it was such a vibrant culture, and it's like this amazing sort of access point in Europe, and it was a really interesting time. It was before everything kind of changed, mm -hmm. um, and you know, anyway, so World War One just destroyed that. But I guess I'd say, if I had to like- History book, I'm telling I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry, like, murmur, I just like, like <laughs> slowly but surely. I love it. I think it's like one <laughs> of the- The camera best. just starts like turning away, so I'm like, and another thing. <laughs> well, this was so fun. I feel like we should do this on a regular basis. Yeah, I know. Because right? we get like such goofy answers out of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the random questions and answers that we provided with you. Please post below if you have random questions. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we'll go in there and respond to your Totally. To your question. Yeah. Like the video, say hey to this lady on her channel. Hello. Woo! We did the baby food challenge over on my channel, so yeah, go check that out. Yeah, go watch gross. a struggle. It's gonna be it's great. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well thanks so much guys and we'll talk to you later. Bye!